Hey guys, this is your um, weekly lemonade stand project that I'm going to be doing um, a review with. So for Monday, let me scroll down to what we need. On Monday, we should be working on food, um, drink and food needs. So it says, use this list of food and drink supplies to make a couple important decisions on the following pages. So what I want you guys to do is I kind of want you to look through the items that they have listed for you and then check out the prices and see what you guys want to go with, okay? So just for example, um, you get to purchase lemons. Unlimited means that it's never ending. You can have as many lemons as you want and the price for that would be $23. Sugar would be $12, water $10, and so on and so forth. Um, if you want fresh lemons, you might want to think about having lemons. Um, if you want to do more of like a mix, like um, crystal light or anything, um, you actually could just do a lemonade mix. I don't know why it's doing that weird color. Um, but yeah, so you guys just want to go through this, all these items. And I basically want you guys to just get an idea of what the items are, how much it would cost, get an idea of what you want. So for example, if you want to have candy, it's gonna be $14, um, but maybe you wanna do something a little cheaper where you might have brownies for eight, whatever it is. You definitely wanna go through this entire list and maybe get some ideas of what you wanna to add to your lemonade stand. Once you guys have gone through this list, the next thing you're gonna do is go to this page right here. This page says drinks and food. Using information from the previous page, pick items that you will be selling at the lemonade stand. Write the name and the price and then find your total. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items. So I want you guys to go back to this list and choose about 14 items that you guys want to add to your list. Um, so the way that I'm going to do it, if you guys have your own paper, you can do the same. Um, you might want to do some highlighting or circling. So me, I want to definitely have some fresh lemons um, for lemonade. Um, I'm going to need some sugar because I'm making my own lemonade. I'm going to need some water. Um, let's see, what else? I definitely want a large bag of ice so my lemonade could be nice and um, cold. Um, I think I'm going to include strawberries because I want to make strawberry lemonade. Um, so here I have so far one, two, three, four, five. Um, how about some snacks? You, let's see, I'm going to have some brownies, I think. Um, maybe some fruit snacks. Maybe I want to offer some chocolate chip cookies and so on and so forth. So you guys are going to choose your own items. You do not need to choose mine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take all of your items and make sure you have enough for all of these here. And then you're going to write them in. So for example, my first one was lemons. So right here, I'm going to type in lemons. Or in this case, you guys were actually going to be writing it out. Um, so my first item is lemons, and then the price of lemons cost me $23, okay? Put a dollar sign, 23. Um, my next item was sugar, and then the price of sugar was $12, okay? And then so on and so forth. You guys are gonna make sure that you guys have something written in every box, okay? So I think I kind of gave you an idea of how much you're gonna need. Let's see. Um, so well, once again, you need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items in total. Um, I'm not gonna go through doing all my 14. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys, okay? Once you have chosen your 14 items, the next thing you need to do um, actually, oh, there's a remember list. It says you must sell lemons. Um, sorry, you must sell lemonade. Pick your items carefully. Paying for only items um, is a one-time fee. So that means if I buy sugar, I don't need to keep buying sugar. It's a one-time thing. Um, you do not have a budget, but be careful not to overdo it. So if I'm running a lemonade stand to raise money for charity, I don't want to spend $800 on just this lemonade. So I want to make sure that I'm choosing things that I want to sell that I can sell and that I'm not going to go too expensive with. 
it says, was anything important left off the list? Write it below. So if you guys were up here, was there anything that was not on there that you kind of wish that was added? So for example, maybe I wanted to add um, popcorn. I think popcorn is actually in there. Um, maybe not. So maybe something that I wanted to add was popcorn. Or maybe um, I wanted pickles. Um, or how about beef jerky, whatever it may be. You guys can come up with your own items, okay? Total spent. So once you have chosen all of your items, you are then going to look everything right here and you are going to total it up. Um, it's going to take a while. Um, that's a lot of items, but why don't you guys just slowly do it? So maybe you might want to start with just two items and find the total. And then eventually, whatever your total is going to be, you're going to type it right here. So write total here. So for example, let's say that maybe my total was, I don't know, I'm going to make up a number, maybe $156. Okay, there's not going to be any change, okay? So that is what you're going to do for your Monday's page, okay? On Tuesday, you're basically going to do the same thing, but it's going to be for your supply needs. Use this list of materials and supplies below to make a decision on the following page. Supplies such as a table, chairs, and water coolers are items that you can either borrow from home or from school and it's free. So what they mean is you don't need to pay for a table, you don't need to pay for chairs, and you don't need to pay for a water cooler. So once again, you're gonna look through these items and figure out what, what it is that you want. Maybe you want paper cups, maybe you wanna go with pap, um, plastic cups. Napkins, if you're going to have some fruit, you might need some paper bowls. Maybe you want to get fancy and do an umbrella for $4. So you're going to look at all of these things. Um, if you're going to be cutting fruit, fresh fruit, you're going to need a cutting board, right? You maybe need aluminum foil to cover up the fruit so it doesn't get, you know, like bugs on it. Um, if you're going to be hanging a sign, you might need some duct tape. These are just things that you need to think of. Maybe an apron so you look more professional. Having a tablecloth so it's nicely set up. If you're giving out snacks, maybe you need toothpicks in them. So these are all items that you need to think about. Once you have thought about those and you've read them, the next page for Tuesday says supply picks. Using the previous page, pick supplies that you need to buy for the lemonade stand. Write the names and prices below and then total it up about the money that you've spent. Please remember, you must purchase cups. If you sell food items at your stand, you must either purchase bowls, plates, or bags to put them in. Is there anything left off the list? Please write them below and give me a total spent. So we're gonna do the exact same thing that you did for Monday. So, sorry. Um, for example, I think I'm gonna go with paper cups. They're a little bit cheaper. Okay. Um, I decided that I was going to sell fruit, so I definitely need some paper bowls. Um, I'm going to need a cutting board to cut those fruits. Um, maybe if I'm going to be handing out brownies, I want to have small plastic bags. Um, glitter markers because I love to make myself pretty. I want a poster board so I can advertise. Um, maybe I want some twisty straws to make my drinks fancy, whatever it may be. Choose your items that you want, and then from there, you are going to write them below the same thing that we did. Um, so for me, the first thing was um, paper cups, and then next to that, I need to write the total. So my paper cups were $10. Um, the next thing I'm going to write is paper bowls. And then the price of paper bowls were $5, okay? And remember, you were going to keep this up until you have, um, maybe you don't need every, you don't need to have this. There might be more lines that's needed. So maybe just choose the items that you want. Maybe you want to do it completely simple. That's fine. Um, what are some items that weren't listed? So maybe um, I wanted an ice machine. I don't know. Um, maybe I wanted to give out stickers. Um, so you could just list some stuff. And then total spent. So once again, you're going to look at your total here for all the items that you've listed. And then you need to write your total there. You need to add them all up. So write total here. And then so for just for an example, maybe my total came out to $92. Okay. So that's Tuesdays. Now on Wednesday, we're going to focus on making, um, balancing a budget. A budget is when someone gives you money and you have to stick to not going over that, okay? So 
Total cost of your drinks and food and material. Total money spent. In this box right here, you are going to give me the total of your food items. And then from there, you are going to add, so plus some material items. smaller so it fits in that box. So what do I mean by that? I mean I'm going to have to go back up here and I need to find my total. So for example, and I'm just going to give you my example, my total spend of food and drink was $156 and then my supplies was 92. So right here I'm going to put $156 plus $92. And then I need to find my total. I need to figure out um, how much it is that I'm going to spend. So I need to add these together. Okay, so um, let's see if I add these together. I have 192. And plus 92, my total should be about $248 and zero cents, okay? So what I did was I, I totaled up how much I've spent. I spent $156 on food and drink items and $92 on, actually I'm gonna call it supply items and then in total I spent $258 so it says right here and I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight this just so you guys can kind of see it says this is how many credits your class will need to break even so what they're saying is I need to make at least $248 for my lemonade stand just so I didn't spend any money. So what they're saying is, if I spend $248 on a lemonade stand, and then I go out and I sell $5 worth of a lemonade stand, I have spent so much money that I have actually not made any profit. I am not walking away with any money for my charity. So I need to learn how to sell enough lemonade to cover this, pot, this money right here to pay myself back and then give the rest to the charity. So. Breaking even is the point when the profits are equal to the cost. So breaking even means that I paid $248 for this. I need to at least make $248 to break even, meaning I don't owe money and I can't give any money away. Everything you sell after you make, oopsies. so everything that I sell after my total, which is $248 will be a profit. What does that mean? That means anything that I make after I've made this will all go to my charity. And that's the goal of this, right? We want to make sure that we have enough money to give to our charities that we've picked, okay? So remember to always deduct, which means to subtract, the price of your purchased items. These expenses are important to keep track of when running a business and working with a budget, okay? So um, let's see. Budgeting. If you have any other expenses, add them to the chart to keep track of your budget deficit. So right here, all I'm doing is figuring out um, what I owe. So give me one second. Okay. So in this case, when I was looking through it, I had taken out a page because it would have been too much work. So we actually don't need to put anything here. There's nothing that we are going to put here for right now. Okay, so do not use this page, or sorry, this one right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about our, expensive, our expenses. So remember, I told you that my expenses of what I'm paying for for food and drinks was $156. And I can check that because I could find it right here. So my total for um, drinks and food was $156. So right here, I'm gonna put, dollar sign and $156, okay? And then the materials, my expenses for the materials, once again, I could find it by scrolling up to find my total, which was $92. So 
Where to put my dollar sign, or else I don't know what I'm talking about. 92 what? I don't have to put that. Okay. So I need to make sure that I need to figure out um, whatever it is I make as a profit, I'm going to have to subtract my expenses. Okay. Um, remember, in total, you guys can actually write the total right here. We, I kind of did mine up here, which was 248. I added those together. So I'm just going to put it again down here, $248. And I think just so I don't get confused on the word total. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do for this page. You need to figure out how much you spend on drinks and food and how much you spend on materials and how much you expenses in total. So eventually, whatever I'm going to make as a profit, I need to make sure that I subtract $248 so I pay myself back. If your number is very high, maybe you want to go back and you might want to delete some supplies or maybe you want to take away some food and drink items. Because the more money you spend, the more money you need to make just to pay yourself back. Okay. Um, that is it for, I believe, was that Wednesday, right? Now for Thursday, you need to do the page called Making a Profit. How much money would you like to raise for your fundraiser? Now you need to set a goal and make sure that your goal is pretty reasonable. If I'm planning on um, going in and remember how we said how many days we're going to work or our date time in a whatever that one page was. If I'm only gonna work for two months, do you think it's a, a realistic idea that I wanna make a million dollars? Probably not. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up to my page and I'm gonna see how many days I decided to work. I am going to work five days a week in August. Um, so I'm only working a week five days a week in August. So that's only five days. So how much do I think that I can make in five days? Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a goal for $20 every day. So if I have five days I'm working and I'm working, um, I want to make $20 every day. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. My goal for my charity is to make $100. Okay. So I plan on, whoa, sorry. Um, I need to make um, $100 on top of what my expenses were. So my goal is $100 for my charity. Can I do more? Probably. I would like to, but I'm going to make sure that this is a realistic goal, okay? So add your goal to the expenses that you've already had to pay. So... My, I'm going to put it right here. My expenses, remember, were $248. Okay. And I've set my goal for $100. Okay. And the total that I need is I need to add these together. So 8 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 0 is Sorry. Eight plus zero is eight. Four plus zero is four. And two plus one is three. So this is Witcher's Lemonade Stand. I need to make a total of $348 to cover my expenses and to set a goal. This is a high number. I might want to go back and change stuff. So that is up to you guys. Okay. You have all week to make some stuff. Is this a reachable goal? Why? And, and do you need more information? And I'm going to say that I believe that this is a reachable goal. I can make $348 in a week. Um, I might say I need to know how many people were there. I might need to maybe extend it past a week. Maybe I need to work two weeks in August or possibly the whole month. Um, so this is just giving us an idea of where we think we're going to be. So make sure that you write your answers in complete sentences here. Pricing products correctly is the key to successful business. If you set prices too low, you won't make much of a profit. If prices are too high, you might not sell very much. Carefully decide the prices of your lemonade and how much will be a large and how much will be a small drink. Now remember, I came up with my goal by saying that I want to sell $20 per day on top of my expenses. So maybe I need to think about how much I need to be making. So I probably need to make a about $70 a day to make my goal, right? So realistically, maybe I might make my large drink of lemonade $2, okay? 
And I'm gonna charge $1 for my small lemonade, okay? Please make sure it's a dollar amount. Um, when you do change, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging for you guys because money is new for you. If you're up for the challenge, you're more than welcome to, but I am letting you know that it might be difficult if you guys have like, let's say you're charging $2.90. That might be challenging. So if you stick to a dollar amount, you might be um, fine. I will let you know right now, if you charge $10 for lemonade, I would not combine lemonade from you. So make sure that your lemonade is easily priced. Ask yourself, would you pay that much? I most definitely would pay $2 for lemonade and I would pay a dollar for a small lemonade. I think that this is fairly priced. I could even, you know, up it if I want to and go, you know what, maybe I would even pay um, $3 for a large lemonade, right? Or, or maybe I would even pay, um, two dollars for a small you just need to play around with your numbers until you come up with one that you think is fair how many large drinks would you need to sell to reach your goal so if my large drinks are three dollars how many would i need to sell to make 348 well i'm gonna have to go and i'm gonna have to count three plus three plus three plus three and so on and then i need to eventually figure out how much i would need to sell um let's see one one Maybe I would need to sell um, three, six, nine, 12, 15. And I'm going to keep going and adding threes until I get to 348. It doesn't need to be exactly 348, but maybe it needs to be around it, okay? So after I have checked my work, because I'm basically going to be um, counting and adding all the way to 348, let's see. I would need to sell 116 large lemonades. So I might ask myself, I don't know if that's doable, but I'm gonna try to make it work, okay? That is your Thursdays. Now on Friday, create a menu with prices for everything you are selling. This menu will sit by the cash register for customers to see and make choices of items that they'd like to purchase. Use credits when thinking your prices are um, and be reasonable. Okay. So, um, maybe, and I'm just going to give you an idea. I first need to go back up to the stuff that I've purchased. So I need to kind of go back to the items right here. Um, remember I decided that I'm selling, um, lemonade. I'm also going to sell chocolate chip cookies and brownies and fruit snacks, whatever it is that you've added here to your list that you're purchasing, add those to your, your list. So just for example, I'm just going to do some things. Okay. I'm going to do a large lemonade and then my large lemonade, remember I said was $3, okay? A small lemonade, I said was going to be $2. Um, I probably can get more if I made a, you know, a specialty drink, which is a strawberry lemonade and maybe my strawberry lemonade See if I can move this over. Maybe because this is a specialty drink, I'm gonna say my strawberry lemonade, maybe I'm gonna charge, um, how about $4? Actually, I'm gonna do five, because I, I would pay $5. I like strawberry lemonade. Um, and I'm just gonna keep going. Maybe you guys bought, um, maybe you're making smoothies or whatever it is. You're basically gonna come up with your entire list here. Remember, um, I'm actually, to make things easier, I might put all my drinks on the side of my food. Um, I said I was selling chocolate chip cookies. So maybe if you get three cookies, maybe that's gonna charge you or maybe cost you $3, okay? Um, chocolate cookies, maybe if you buy one, maybe it's gonna cost you $1. Um, well, brownies, oopsies. Brownies, maybe my brownies are gonna cost $1. Um, maybe I have fruit cups. I'm gonna charge 
four dollars for that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your whole thing and make sure that you're charging it um, for something that you would pay I think it'd be kind of cool if maybe next to the item if you even drew a picture because I don't know about you guys when you guys go to um, like a restaurant sometimes it makes it easier if you have a picture of what it looks like so this is what you're gonna be doing for Friday Think that's it yeah all right guys make sure that you guys get this done if you have any questions or you definitely might need help with the profit or budgeting um, let me know join me on my zoom I can help you I can walk you guys through it um, yeah I'm excited to hear all about your lemonade stands I hope you guys have a great week and let me know if you guys need any help all right bye guys have a good week